Good morning! It's week one of November. I'm gonna make my breakfast protein smoothie, which I try to do every morning. I try to hit anywhere between 75 to 100 grams of protein a day. So I'm just going to be making that right now and maybe I'll just I'll just bring you along with me. For my protein smoothies in the morning, I usually use this as a substitute for breakfast because it is pretty calorie packed, oh. at least the ones that I make. In my protein smoothies, I usually have fruits. I like the individually packed one. I want everything to be as fast and easy as possible in the morning, so I just get the individually packed ones, and then I put about, I fill up about half of my Magic Bullet cup, and then I just save the rest for next use. The ones that I get are the ones from Costco, so it's a mixture of kale, um, strawberry, blueberries, and raspberries. And then I also, the next thing they add is just a little bit of vanilla extract. I don't really know if it adds much to the flavor, but I do it anyway. So a little bit of vanilla extract. And I wouldn't make the mistake of adding too much because then it tastes all bad and wonky. So I, I honestly don't know how much I add. I just do a little light drizzle for one second. That's my measuring. That's my measuring cup. Okay. And then after that, I go right in with my oat milk. I typically don't really mind which oat milk I get. I prefer the. I prefer Chobani or Oatly or one more or the Khalifa Farms one those are my favorites anyway I fill it up until just a little bit below the max fill line because I tend to notice that these froth up but at the end it becomes more creamy and obviously like it goes above the fill line a little bit but that doesn't really matter okay I think after that I also add, oh wait, I should probably show what it looks like, but this is, it looks a little gross right now, but that's okay. After that, I also add collagen peptides. This one has 22 grams of protein per, per serving. This one I got from Whole Foods. It's just a little... Okay, now I can't open it. But this one I got from Whole Foods. It's their 365 collagen peptides unflavored version. Um, initially I thought it was breaking me out, but I think it's fine. I really don't know how to pick which protein powder is the best. I just go based because I mask the flavor anyway, so any protein powder is pretty much fine with me. Um, yeah, this is what I use. Okay, and I just twist you on top and then I blind away we're back in action this is what the smoothie looks like it varies um it right now it kind of looks like a dark gray slash purple but it varies from this color to really light pink depending on how much strawberry and raspberry there is in the smoothie today there's more kale which isn't my favorite aesthetically but it's a protein smoothie, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I am done with the gym, so I changed my outfit kind of, and now I'm off to babysit. I almost got into a little, a little fight with the toll bridge, but we are here now, and honestly the drive here was kind of fun because there were a lot of exits and merges and stuff, so there was always something to keep me on my toes. I'm excited. I'm babysitting a three-month-old today, so that's new, but I have high hopes. Updates to come in five hours. Okay. I did forget to update. I'm already ready for bed. 
so I'm just gonna do a quick update now. Babysitting went really well. The mom works from home, so she essentially just needed help with the baby when the baby was awake. She's a darling little girl. She just hung out. She can't talk yet, obviously, so I would just be the one to talk to her. I prefer hanging out with kids whenever they're in their, whenever they're in like the anywhere between the eight month to the six years of life stage. Just just when they're still little sweethearts, but then they're already starting to talk. I find to be the most fun, them to be the most fun ages of their childhood. Um, but this baby was really sweet, so it was a it was a good experience. Hello, we're at Almaden Lake Park and actually on the website for the Water Lantern Festival it said that today was the first day of the Lantern Festival but when we got here there was nothing so I'm assuming that they probably took down ticket sales today because there weren't enough tickets sold but a few years ago, I think it was last year or two years ago, my parents went and they brought me back one of the lanterns and I haven't been able to release it because I didn't want to just release it into any body of water for it not to get picked up because I don't want to litter and I don't know if it's biodegradable and I don't think it is even if it's made out of like recyclable material. So we went all the way here and it took us about an hour to get here and I, I was able to release my lantern. It's all the way on the other side now but I don't know if I can hold on. Maybe I can now it's just a flickering light over here, but it's still over there. I'm going to try to catch it. I expected for there to be food trucks and a lot of people here when we got there, but that wasn't the case. But it's okay because Burt Toast Theory, um, I'm so glad that I was able to do it. And tomorrow, the Water Lantern Festival is still happening. I'm fairly certain so there will be people um after the festival to come by and pick up the lanterns via boat maybe not sure but yeah happy water lantern festival hey besties i'm just waiting right now i i'm at bolero I'm the first person here because um, I just got back from my appointment, which was in Sunnyvale. So I just, I was closer than my parents. I was gonna pick them up, but they had other plans. So now I'm, now I'm here and I'm waiting. I didn't even bring a book or anything. So I'm just waiting is what I meant to say. I'm just waiting. Hi besties. I'm here for the type one diabetes walk. It's been such a great morning. I have my little, liquid IV right here and there are so many people here I really don't know what to expect so I'll update later full disclosure I have no clue how people actually vlog outside or in public because I just went to an event and it would have been a pretty good opportunity to vlog in but I I was just so caught on one getting to the breakfast table to meeting people at the booths and just three checking everything out so I didn't I didn't actually vlog but the event is over I met up with the nonprofit that I'm volunteering for and I got this shirt for she connect so that was it was really fun just to get to meet everyone in person because so far I've just been on zoom with them and I feel as if it was just a, a nice environment to be in everyone was very welcoming and it was for a great cause it was to find a cure for type 1 diabetes. So they were doing fundraising for that. And it was, a, it was a great experience. So 10 out of 10, recommend going on walks, like fundraising walks. I think it's, it's really fun. And this is my first one. So it was pretty exciting. 